And now, First Warn 5 Weather with meteorologist Samara Kokinos. At 644 on this Tuesday morning, we are looking at the horizon courtesy of Sky 5. And you can see the sun is out there on the horizon. Officially, that sunrise will happen at 706 this morning. Uh, but some beautiful colors out there in the morning sky. Not too many clouds outside, but those will build up throughout the day. As we take a look at temperatures, it is warm and it is humid. Relatively calm wind, but where it is blowing is out of the east, primarily near 5 miles per hour. 76 degrees here in Wetsico. Let's take a look at the rest of the valley. 78 for you in Escobares. Good morning to you in Nurio, as well as Rio Hondo, checking in at 80 degrees. And it's 77 to start your day in Willamar. So, yeah, warm, sticky start. It's going to be a hot afternoon. Now, as we look at the Doppler network, you can see that everything is nice and quiet now. We've been watching a few showers kind of pop up over the open Gulf water and kind of fizzle out. So it looks like the first half of the day is going to be relatively dry, but future track indicates that we could see maybe a few showers creep into the lower valley by about 9 or 10 o'clock this morning. I think the majority of that will even hold off if it does happen early this morning until this afternoon. That's where we could see a few showers, maybe an isolated thunderstorm, hit you right on that sea breeze front and make its way inland, but it's going to be more mist than hit storms today. We're only talking about maybe 20% of the valley actually getting the rain. 98 degrees for your forecast today and tomorrow, again with the same amount of rain chances as today will be in the forecast for midweek. By Thursday, things start to change. We'll have a bit more cloud cover and, and a little bit more rain, and temperatures are going to drop to about the mid-90s. We're tracking the latest on what's happening with the remnants of Harvey. Right now, it is going to continue to make its way over the Yucatan, and then eventually back into, or it'll go into the Bay of Campeche tomorrow. That's where it has the potential around a 90% chance of developing into a tropical system. So once it gets into the Bay of Campeche and becomes a little bit more organized, we'll have a better idea as to what to expect. Until then, we have been watching all of these models, and this is the latest spaghetti model output. It's a considerable change from yesterday, where a lot of those models kept everything to our south and a few straying close to the valley. Now, uh, the model consensus is that it's going to stay a little bit farther east over the open Gulf and move up near Houston. There's a lot of factors that are going into this forecast over the next 24 to 48 hours, folks. There's a lot of things. There's that upper level low. What's it going to do when it interacts with that? There's also some pockets of dry air that could just shred this thing apart. So all of these things have to be taken into consideration when you're looking at this. So we are going to be watching this very closely for you and we'll always bring you the latest developments as they unfold. Now what I can tell you is that if it comes pretty close to the valley, it'll not only make the surface a little bit rough over the next couple of days. Not today, but I'm talking later in the work week. But we'll also see rising rain chances. And some of those pockets of rain could be very heavy. And with any slow moving storm, there could be some flooding potential in the valley. So that's something that we'll be watching for. But we are looking for those rain chances to pick up late Thursday into Friday. Friday looks to be the most active day at this point. Looking at your coastal forecast for today, no major impacts out there. Just watch for a few spotty thunderstorms boaters. Otherwise, you'll have a light chop on the bay with neutral waters 2 to 4 feet. So for today, 98 degrees with partly to mostly sunny skies and isolated showers possible. Overnight, mainly clear and humid with low temperatures near 76. Tomorrow, much of the same, 98 with a spotty shower by midweek or by Thursday rather. We change that. We're increasing your rain chances overnight going into Friday. So we go from 95 on Thursday to 88 by Friday. Now this could change. It could go back up to the 90s depending on how much rain we actually see fall here in the valley. So that's something that will continuously update. But for now, upper 80s, low 90s for Friday and Saturday. Cloudy with a few showers and thunderstorms around. We're dialing back on the rain chances as we wrap up the weekend and head into next week. We'll see a little bit more sunshine with high temperatures near 94 by Monday. Your overnight Lows will stay between 76 and 77 for the next seven nights. And that's your updated for Swarm 5 forecast.